if you are an etsy seller and you want to do the etsy sales analytics as well as do your bookkeeping then this is the video you want to watch so here in this video i have taken the data from etsy sales i have etsy uh, store and i usually sell the digital pr products and right now what i have done is used my data and put the data together back into google sheets and from there i have developed this dashboard where i can see my data based on the total gross sales my net sales my deposits and the number of orders and the items and also i can see my top 10 selling SKUs and the sales trend as well as the total order trend and also i have got some other data that to show like how much i'm spending in the discount on the processing fee and the fee and the refund amount and all this data come directly from the report that i get from etsy and in this the good thing is you can use this as a web url and you can drill down based on the products or based on the categories it will automatically fetch the data from your google sheet where you have initially added your data so this is a quick way of looking into your individual products individual time frame and you can always go back and filter the data back so you see everything will change except for some of the measures but if you want to see okay, how i was doing last year so you can select that last year and apply that so it will show me my total gross orders my total net how much amount was deposited in my account how many orders did i get and what were my top 10 selling SKUs. so this is the quickest way to see the performance of your store get your numbers and it does not take too long to get to this point so what you really need to do is to download some of your reports from etsy which i'll show in subsequently in this video and you can use that data and upload it once and you can get this kind of view so this i can give a link in the description you can go ahead and download this for you and i'll also show you how you can use it for your store so this is a quick way and i'm going to put a big version this one will be a light version available for free to use but i'll have other options to show the profit and loss and also to show like how much each deposit you got for each month and also you will be able to define your expenses and see how much expenses are bucketed in each different categories and you can see based on the summary and also you have a way to see the sales by different countries so that way you can take some decisions and make some profits based on what you can improve on also you have a way to define your cost and that will determine your cost of goods sold and then also you can change or add different metrics you if you don't want to see certain details you can just always go ahead and remove them and yeah this is how you are able to make use of this dashboard and definitely in the light version you will get only a limited version but you still have a lot of details you can see the total gross total net deposit amount and also see the trend which SKUs are doing better for you so that you can focus more on them and where exactly you are spending your money so yeah i'll add further details so let me know if you have any questions okay so what do you need in order to get that data so if you go to your etsy website and go to your settings and come to your download data section there is a way to select your files you need to download all these csv files the first one is order items and you can do it for i believe if you just give the year name and do not give the month name you can download each and everything for that year in one file so do that for order items and also do the same thing for orders and for the payment sales and for the etsy payment deposits so just download the data from all these four excel sheets and it will be easier if you do it just for the whole year so that you don't have to deal with individual files now once you have downloaded this data the next step would be is to copy the data from these files 
and put it into Google Sheet, which I will show you shortly. Okay, this is the Google Sheet. Actually, I have converted that into Excel. So you have all the data. So here you can see this tab is for the order items and you just copy and paste all the details here in the sheet. Then create another sheet in the orders tab and place all the details with your orders and then you go to this checkout payment where it gives you all the details of your the payment and then finally you can leave this statement because this was done for excel not for the google sheet so you can leave this and you can go to the deposits which will show you the details of each and every deposit made to your account by etsy so once you have made, just keep the name of the tabs as it is in your, whenever you are going to create your own, make sure that you have the same name for each tab under the name of the file. So once you've done that, just save the data and then I will show you how you can use this and build your report in Google Data Studio. Okay, there is another currently for sale listing report which can be used for getting the SKU information and you can use that as a master data so I have downloaded that and put it in my Excel which I'll show you it does show up like this under title description price so what you need to do is at the end of this sheet just go ahead and add the cost for each SKU that you are having so most of the physical products you will know the cost the total or the I, th I think it's mostly the variable cost for each and every SKU so for physical products it makes sense to have a cost associated but with digital products if you don't know you can put zero also if you just want to put a zero cost but if you just want to have a little bit of cost involved in it you can add that number and it could be in any currency you just need to put the number so that the system will be able to calculate the profit based on the cost of goods sold and uh, it will deduct all the expenses so that you know how much profit you are making once you click on the link for sharing this template you will be able to see this screen and actually the Google Studio has changed the name into Google Loop, but it will remain the same. So what you can do is click on this, make a copy. And once you click on this, it will let you make a copy for this particular report into your own version. You can give a name. And before that, it will also ask you to select and provide a data source. So this data source is the same as I showed before that it will be like your Google Sheets with different names that you have initially selected or initially put together. So I will give you the names of each Google Studio. So first one will be your order items and then second one will be your deposits. The third one will be your checkout payments and the fourth one would be your the orders. And the fifth one, which is hidden behind, is your the SKU master. So all these four data sources needs to be connected one by one in the same order, right? If we don't want to mess up the order, otherwise it will not work as expected. And then finally, you will have the way to connect by using Google Sheets. So if you go into the Google Data Studio, it will ask you to use a connection. So you can click on your Google Sheets connection and I hope by this time you already have prepared your spreadsheet Google Sheets with all the data which I showed before and then it will ask you to authorize your connection so once you authorize it you should be able to connect and then based on the instructions just select all the different sheets to provide as a source for your data to get into this the seller dashboard so once you are able to do that you will be able to see your data based on this fashion and just in case if you are not able to see or if you are able to see some error message feel free to put a comment on this video so that i can find what exact problem you might be facing and will be able to resolve it 
thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comment and feel free to subscribe so that it helps the channel thank you again and have a good rest of your day